Oh, hi. It's Future Wounded Edge here. Yeah, we're starting off on the future right here in the very first part, right at the beginning of the video. So this is a video series that I started recording literally August of 2019. And for reference for someone who might be watching this in the far future, uh, this video is going to be uploaded sometime in like early J July of 2020. I don't know why I just held on to the recordings for so long and didn't upload them. I think like life stuff just happened and like other games came out and I was like, oh no, I gotta play that first. And it's only fitting that this this series takes so long to come out because it is about time travel. So you know what? Here's a little time capsule from the past. Enjoy it. In fact, this one is so old, I'm still using the old microphone in this one. Ooh. Perhaps, luckily, this game actually has multiple endings, and I only recorded up to, until I got one ending. So, I guess I can continue it once I finish up uploading all the parts. Ah, uh, now that's, that's a, a telling time of this era. So, I was looking, I'm going to have to turn that down in my headphones. I was looking around my room today, because, like, I'm, it's my day off. I'm like, I should play a game today. What should I play? I got the Zelda, I got the Persona, what should I? And then, then my eyes fell onto the PS2, and I was like, oh yeah, there's tons of weird games on there I want to play. Just, just, just record it and show it off to people. Like, hey, look at this weird game. This is, um... Shadow of Destiny. Known, I think, in Europe as a Shadow of Memories. That seems to be its more popular name. When you, like, look it up on, a uh, On websites and stuff, it's like, Shadow of Memories here and there. Anyways. It's not like talking or anything during this intro, and there's barely even anything interesting going on. This is person, thing... And now they're standing there, and they're looking at that guy, and he's like, oh, what? Someone's staring at me? Man, it looks like he's got some tiny, tiny hands. This is an early PS2 game. This might have been, like, one of the very first games Konami put on the PS2. Yeah, look, 2001. Um, what do we have for options? I forget. Controller. Yeah, I don't need to change that. Sounds... Yeah, it's fine. M what? Map BGM. For when you're on the map screen. Compass, item, doorway, emphasis. Oh, yeah! So when, like... Because there's only certain, like, objects or doors you can interact with. And it's like, do you want it to look, like, really obvious? Or, like, kind of a little more subtle? Or very subtle? Let's keep, keep it on very subtle, because that's, like... The default, or you can just turn it off if you think it's annoying and you know where all the doors are. But we're gonna keep it on because it's been a while since I played this. This game's about um time travel. I don't think we need to do a screen adjust. Shadow of Destiny. Oh, wait, where's the box? Hang on. Oh god. I should have kept the box right next to me. This is one of those early PS2 games when you know. Everyone, all the developers were like trying to show off. Oh man, this new technology is so great. Look at how great it is. We can do so much more now. Freaking like... There's points in this game where you'll see the camera just kind of focus. Oh, here we go again. You'll see the camera just focus on a character's face as they don't say anything. And it just, you kind of see like their eyes moving around and their cheeks moving. And it's like, oh wow, look at the facial. Ooh. So amazing. We're not going to watch this again. But one of the bullet points on the back of the box that I like very much is full voiceover for all characters. Yay! And I have to push my voice today. <sighs> Let's just go. Start. Prologue. Um, uh, that'd be... Uh, January, February, March, April. April 8th. I forget. I didn't see the year. 
Wow. Oh, hang in, hang in there, loading screen. That's so disconcerting. It's like a VHS tape or something. So there's our main man. Mr. Green Jacket. Oh, he's got like a little ponytail. That's right, I, f I almost forgot about that. Just going for a stroll. What could possibly... What, what, it's just such a nice day in this, um... No, oh, excuse me. In this nice, um, uh, weird European town somewhere. In, in somewhere. That's a really good shot right there. Ah. He's so pretty. Oh. Oh, watch out, man. My controller vibrated a whole bunch. Oh, no. Shadow of Destiny. Oh, he was stabbed. At exactly, what is that, 3.30? No. <sighs> What the... Uh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Am... am I... dead? Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? How does it feel to be dead? I... Damn it, who is this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. <laughs> In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course, of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. <laughs> I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right, but I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad. Please, use it well. You're the big S. Satan. Is it kind of dark there? 
It's kind of dark. I might need to brighten this up in post. Maybe th this is a dark place, I guess. But I got my digipad. Which I got from the magic entity or something. But it's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, alright? Man, this is never getting ported to anything else, huh? Because what are you going to... What would you say if it went on like an Xbox? Press the square button? There is no square button on that controller. Okay, I get it. You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? <laughs> yes. And it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. All this weird talk of like, uh, time, space, whatever, I don't know. Even I kind of don't really know what they're talking about, but eh. Alright. 2001, 2 p.m. Sir, please wake up. Are you alright? Do you feel sick or something? Hmm? Oh? Hey, don't drop that. Sir. Oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Real cool and casual. Oh man, that's so scary. Stop it. You're freaking me out. Hey, this is the start of the game. The start of the big intro. He left the coffee shop. And hmm. he got cut. Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. Ike looks like his clothes don't really fit him. What is... What? Oh, right. I tried to use the right analog stick to move. Listen to this. That's me moving the right analog stick to move the camera, but ain't nothing happened. You gotta use L1 and R1. And R2 to just Z target forwards. Um, oh. Oh, this is the map. The music, the, the sound of the music has not changed much at all. Um. D-pad, yeah. Man, look at that. That is a that is just a straight up compass. And it reacts to what remember character is looking, not where I'm looking. So that's straight north. Wasn't there a way to I 
feel like there was... There was a way to, like, go into first-person view or something. Uh, regardless, it is now, um... Yeah, it was January, February, March... A April 8th, 2001. What's up? I'm about to die. What do you want? I want to know what's up with your eyeballs, kid. Jeez. So that just took away some time from my, my timer at the top right. Encountering people just kind of does that. You know... Man, Ike is so tall. No wonder his clothes don't fit him. Oh, you know what? And then in the instruction manual for this, like he looks like better because like a two D artist drew him. And also the pictures in the like the it's so weird. The manual itself is in color, but the screenshots for the game are all in black and white. I've never seen a manual do it like that before. It's either all black and white or like. I've never seen this before. It's either all black and white or all in color. I guess it's because I'm putzing around too much. What's up, lady? Life is so boring, isn't it? Anything I can do for you? You can stop wasting my time. It's so weird. You have to stop moving to be able to move the camera. Yo, what up? There's only women in this place, huh? You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. I forget. Let me talk to you again. I told you, I'm not a performer. If you want the real thing, you're in the right place, though. Yeah, some, some people talk twice and they have something else to say, but nothing much usual. So you know how game developers will make a game, right? And it'll be like... Oh, this is the first area of the game. It's like a tutorial, right? We want the player to be able to, you know, grasp the concepts of the gameplay before uh, taking on any real challenges. Usually they'll do this by, like, uh, you know, putting them in, like, an actual, like, training area or something or someplace that's just walled off so that no one else, so, so the player can't, like, get out. Or they'll put, like, locked doors and you need the key. You only get the key by beating the tutorial. Let's see here. I guess this is as far as I go. <laughs> There's just a dog. There is a dog here. And that is as far as I go. What if I try going over here? Huh? Oh wait, there's another dog. I guess this is as far as I go. Same animations, same sound effects, different, like, they don't play in the same order and they're different camera angles, but, like, <laughs> why? I guess this is as far as I go. <laughs> it's so bizarre to me, like, put dogs everywhere. Everywhere we don't want them to go, just put dogs there. Um... Here's another dog over there. It's all these, bl and they're all the same dog too. They're all just these black, like Labrador dogs or whatever. I don't know what they are, but they're all dogs. They're all dark colored. Like, what couldn't you just put these up in places? These like little things, and then take them down later and be like, oh, well, there's just construction going over there because you couldn't go there earlier, but you can't go there now. No, just put dogs. And as far as I know, those dogs are just kind of there. There's no like explanation for them. They're just dogs. So yeah, that little skip icon appears in the bottom left of the screen whenever, um, it's a cutscene you've seen before. This game has, like, a like, uh, multiple endings. And, um, that's generally pretty useful to have the skip button only on cutscenes that you have, that you have seen before, because it lets you know, like, oh, I've seen this before. Just press the skip button, just go ahead to the next, try another route, you know? But then, um, if it's a cutscene you haven't seen before, the skip button will not be there. And you'll be like, oh, I did it, I found something new. There's a little green object here. Hmm, fortune's told. Well, I never noticed this place before. 
No, oh, I guess I'm gonna ignore that little green dot. Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. So? The fated hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk after you leave this place. And this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. Your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. Yo, my digipad's working. So that's a lot to take in. Oh, and I only got like 20 minutes left. But, um, you know, whatever. Um, so I, I just flipped through the manual as, um, as I was, that cutscene was going. At R2 button, when you're indoors goes into first person but there's a weird delay on it so I pressed it like three times and nothing happened so this is a weird first person view because it's based on where Ike is looking and how far he could turn his head so if I turn all the way to the right that is as far right as, as, as I can go I cannot look any further right similarly to the left no further won't go I have to go out of first person and turn my body just like real life go out of third person and turn my body to um look around this place reminds me of like um like n64 like ocarina of time like you know that that part in the um and future hyrule castle town where it's like um that weird uh ghost person is like yo i took over the shop and now i, I sell the po ghosts here it's like oh you give me a big po this is very ornate so, like, if you want to hide your identity, why you keep your hair over your... I don't know if this will show up on the recording. She's wearing, like, a black... Not, like, mask, but, like, a black, black like, a veil. Like, a bridal veil, almost. But it's all black, and it covers her face, but not her hair. I guess she really, really just wanted to show off her do. But then why have your head draped in the in the cloth on top of your head? character's creepy. I'm leave. uh, you know what? Instead of leave, I can't move. Okay. Let's just use the digipad here. So, oh, here's our mar items. A postcard with a view of the city by Carl Franson. 
Yep. That's what that is. There's so much happening, I better write them down. Can my fate be changed? Before I died, I was walking alone. Maybe if I walked with somebody else. Here's your memos. Map of this town. You can access this by pressing the triangle button right away. See how all the names of the, this is Leben, Lebensbaum. Which I don't know if it's a real place or not, but I guess I'll look it up later. The Wanster Street. Uh, Kirschstr Marketplatz. Antique Shop Ewell. City Hall. That's perfect English. Rook Strauger. I don't know. I'm probably butchering all these, but uh, whatever. And there's the Brum Museum and the Tower. Yeah. You can go almost. It's. <laughs> From what I've. It's weird to me now. It seems like there's a bunch of places and buildings to enter up here. But then down here, there's just these two. And they're both right next to each other. Why not have like a place here or a place here or a place here? Like, why are all the places up here and then just two down here? That's weird. Ike, I have a question for you. Why don't you just leave town? There's a west gate, there's an east gate, there's a south gate, and um, I think up here is a north gate, but it's not like labeled on the map because Lebensbaum is there. Just leave, bro. If you're afraid of dying, just go. Cell phone. If I can't use it for talking, maybe I can use it for something else. Just look at it. Play Snake on my phone. Yeah, let's use that digipad. A time-traveling device. It can be used at certain moments only. So here is the weird, weird menu. This... This one here is the present that I'm at right now. The time in which I originally exist. And if I go to the past, maybe I can gather a group of people. Let's go. Took some energy to go back in time. Hey, goodbye, nice fortune teller. I'll see you later. <laughs> Just, just imagine just doing that in front of somebody, just bamf out. So this is, um, yeah, this is an hour earlier. Or like a half hour earlier, rather. There's a dog. Dog, will you come to me? Will you help me in my time of need? I guess this is as far as I go. Yeah, okay. Huh? You weren't here an hour ago, were you? Uh, excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? I mean, I'm a man walking around here. What? <sighs> Where can he be? Yeah, I think everyone has like two things to say. Let's try one more time. <sighs> yeah. Where can he be? Yeah, okay. You're not suspicious at all. So yeah, talking to people just takes up 30 seconds of time. So you'll see in the top right now, I have today at 1.35 p.m. and today at 2.14 p.m. I believe the one that is underlined in red is the time in which he originally exists. And if I don't, um, if I don't fix the problem by the faded hour, which is 2.30, then, um, I'll just insta-die. So, yeah, it's, it's weird because you have, like, a time limit here and a time limit there kind of or, or not a limit in both but rather like time moves forward in both the present and past yeah what's up what looking for a date do me a favor go away i look strange mind your own business why you're so mean now in the past why Like the way I look or something? For why? I'm just it's not it's literally an hour later almost. Why so mean now? What's up? Hmm. You want me to come to the square at 2 30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe? Well, alright. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Oh, thank you, nice lady. 
So yeah, we're, our objective is to get some people to gather in the square earlier today. Here's here's that green object again. An energy user. I I skipped past it. The text. Whatever. What's up? Have you seen my girl? Ooh, at the square. Oh, thank you. I'll go find her. Um, sure. Let me guess. Your little girl is um that kind of bratty one. She was around here, yeah. There's a dog looming in the distance over there. Oh, you know what? Let's go over here. Do 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 do. What's up, old man? Well, hey, who's that back there? Hi. Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? Let me talk to the old guy. Yes. Enlightening conversation. How's it going? What? Don't talk to me if you've got nothing to say. <laughs> you know what? That's sound advice. Oh, hey. You look. Are you okay there, sir? Do you need help? Oh. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's oh, just that's wonderful. wonderful. You tried to you make tried contact, to make contact with, with yourself, yourself, didn't you? Didn't you? That's, a that's a big no. 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 That will erase, will erase your very your existence. existence. Be careful Be next, careful time. next time. time. So when you're time traveling, just don't touch yourself. It's bad. Life is a wheel of changes. Oh, that's so good. I like that. That little line. Uh, and all the way back out to the title screen with you. Wow. I never even got to save, did I? Oh, I sure didn't. No data. Okay. I think you can only save after you beat a chapter, so, um... Oh my. Can I skip this? I think I just did. I'll see you later. Stop! Stop with the loading screen! Oh, hey! It's a guy. Have you seen a woman wrapped in a coat wandering around here? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I've gotta find that woman. What's up with you? And what's up with her? And why am I so tall? So yeah, may as well come back here. I'm looking for, um, I talked to that orange lady. I'm looking for, um, the, the lady looking for her daughter and, uh, the brat. Here she is. Have you seen my mother? Okay, I guess I'll go to the square. That doesn't even seem like I told her to go to the square. It just seems like I, she just, okay, I guess I'll go to the square. It's like, what? There's, there's her mother. As you can see by the timer, I'm making it back, making it back here in record time. Have you seen my girl? Yeah. Ooh, at the square. Yeah, it's a square or something. I'll go find her there. Yeah. All right, our stage should be set. We have three people going to the square, former alchemist's house. Now that I think about it, let's go in here. not in your own time, are you? Unless you return there quickly, you won't be able to go back at all. Beware. Uh, he doesn't even say like hi or anything. Or like, how do you know? Like, uh, whatever. Let's just, uh, let's bamf out. Going back to the present. What if you just turned the corner like those two people just did and just saw someone just teleport away in a big green energy ball? Now that I think about it, it looks kind of like Broly's ball, huh? Broly's like energy field thing. 
Man, Broly's so cool. What the? Oh, there really is a street for performer. Check him out. What? <laughs> oh my god. One little crud turn. <laughs> what? Joe, you doesn't take your ears to watch someone juggle. What is that Ku Klux Klan member, anyways? It's creepy looking. Group, I'm busy right now. Don't bother Bitch, I invited you here to to check out the street. To, 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 oh my god, how are you? Hey, now here's a guy with no worries. Oh. 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 There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, and that fortune teller, she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. <laughs> look her up again? Prologue completed in record time. Five minutes and 44 seconds. Do you want to save? You bet. Uh, yeah, slot one. 